Today, the city of El Paso is hosting its annual Juneteenth celebration ahead of the national holiday that occurs on June 19 that celebrates the day that Texas slaves learned of their freedom. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltasar joins us from Northeast El Paso. And Jesus, what have the celebrations been like? Well, Oriana has been so much fun. There's a lot for people to enjoy live music, games, food, refreshments, but more importantly, it has served as a great opportunity for people to come out here and learn of the significance of the holiday. We are celebrating Juneteenth. That's right. It was on June 19, 1865, when Union soldiers landed on the beaches of Galveston, Texas, to tell slaves that the Civil War had ended and that they were free. That was two years after President Abraham Lincoln had declared slaves in the rebel states free with the Emancipation Proclamation, a significant piece of both U.S. and Texas history. Juneteenth has been celebrated for decades, but it only became a national holiday in 2021. A leader for the Borderlands Black community spoke on the importance of raising awareness about this moment in history. It's important for everyone to understand that because we weren't all free, that date, June 19th, 1865, means a lot. It's, it's a history. I wouldn't be able to sit here today if that didn't happen. Tucker founded the nonprofit Black El Paso Voice, leading the efforts to amplify the voices and growth of the black community in El Paso. And later tonight, as Sam will bring you more sights and sounds from the celebration, as well as Tucker discussing the state of the black community in El Paso. Reporting from Northeast El Paso, Jesus Baltasar, KTSM 9 News.